cooled off Kyle Snyder, all yeah. right? All right, tons of output. You know, it's what we expect when we come to see him. Um, I, I, I just, I don't think there's anybody who learns more from losses than Kyle Snyder. You know, your Olympic final. Yeah. You lost a, lost a Gazumov right earlier near. Right. Say his name right. Gazumov. Gazumov. Sorry, you lost him in the World Cup, right? I lost to him like uh, six weeks before. Which was great for you. Yeah. Right. So I was talking <laughs> in the car today some people. I'm like, losing the Kyle Snyder losing is really bad. For the opponent, right? Yeah. What did you learn from losses? I learned a lot. Um, I try to learn from both the wins and losses, but it's uh, everything's a little more clear. I feel like when you lose, what exactly you need to work on. And um, ever since I started wrestling, when I was like five years old, uh, I always just naturally made good adjustments with my opponents. So the the world, I think you lost the World Cup to the Georgian, right? Yeah. So you lost to him, and you've always taken like three or four losses a year. Yeah. Right? The only guy you haven't beat is Scott Solid. Right. That's right, right? Yeah. He's taken two losses to him. <clears throat> yeah. What, what do you think the Coon loss did for you? Um, well, I, I mean, it just showed me that I had to wrestle the match a little bit differently than I normally do, and a uh, couple of different hand fighting things that I needed to work on. Uh, a couple of finishing techniques where uh, usually wrestling someone, anybody below 265, I can pretty much use, use my strength and finish on them. But against Kuhn, I need to be a little more efficient with my movements and uh, my finishing techniques. So that was probably the biggest deal. Can't look ahead to him. You know, you got guys in front of you, one match at a time. What's the coaching staff talking about team race individually? What are they talking to you about? Uh, they're not really talking to me about much. I other than just trying to s score as many points as I can. I pretty, I do a good job talking to myself. So I mean, they get me excited to compete and for the team. And uh, but they kind of lead me to my own when I'm it's competition day. How would you assess your first match? Coach was saying a lot of you guys had nerves. Probably affects you less than others. How'd you feel? You did? Yeah, I wasn't that nervous. I felt good. Um, my, my lungs got like real cold, maybe because I didn't warm up hard enough, but uh, probably should have shot more in the first period. But guys usually just run, 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 you know. it's They don't really want to try to win the match more so, just try to make it as close as they can. And uh, that's, I mean, that's a good job for them. I just have to be more offensive earlier and uh, not squeeze as much with my forearms so I can open up even a little bit more. But oh, it was a good effort. It's good effort. Good to get the first one out of the way, Kyle. Yeah, it was good. Definitely. Your team had a pretty good round, even though there were some close matches. You know, I know you're a team leader of this group. Um, what did you think of the guys that had to really come hard and win the close ones? Yeah, I thought uh, I wasn't able to watch all of them because I was warming up at some points. But everybody, uh, we went 10-0, and 0, so that's pretty cool. And I believe we can do the same thing this afternoon. And that would put us in a great position uh, tomorrow morning when the quarters start to be 20-0 and 0 at 10 and the quarters. How much do you know about your opponent's ranks? Uh, I didn't know. I, I wrestled Ryan growing up a lot. We used to train together. So I haven't seen him wrestle much in college, though. And I don't uh, I'm not sure. If it's Hino from Campbell or Stencil from Central Michigan, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's Hino. Yeah, I haven't uh, really wrestled them too much. I've seen them wrestle. Any, you know, like you came back from, you had a lot of international trips. You came back to Rutgers to wrestle that match. You returned from a trip to Michigan to wrestle that one, didn't you? Yeah. And you were training the whole week with uh, Akbul, right? Yeah. Well, how was that training good for you? And maybe was it a little detrimental at the same time going into that match with Kuhn? Nothing's detrimental, you know, it's the losses uh, was no big deal. Just uh, like you said, I learned from it and it, it happens. I don't ever want to lose. I'm a competitor, but uh, it's no big deal. And then my training with Taha was an amazing experience and we're going to continue to train together. He's an incredible, incredible wrestler. When are you going to Turkey? Uh, it's probably soon. Yeah, probably soon. I'm going to be traveling a lot uh, after I graduate. All right, man. It's always fun to watch you keep it up. 
more output though. We need yeah. more output. <laughs> need to, we need to power some nuclear subs. All right. right. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. good. Thanks.